Welcome to another episode of Cyber Chronicles, where we unravel the fascinating world of digital security and the tools that help us navigate it. I'm your host, and today we're diving into a critical subject, mobile security, specifically through a remarkable tool known as the Mobile Verification Toolkit, or MVT. So, what exactly is the Mobile Verification Toolkit? Well, it's a collection of utilities designed to simplify and automate the forensic analysis of mobile devices, both Android and iOS. Developed by the Amnesty International Security Lab back in July 2021, MVT was introduced in the context of the Pegasus project. Now, Pegasus, for those who may not be familiar, is a notorious spyware that has raised significant concerns about privacy and security. MVT acts as a watchdog, helping technologists and investigators gather forensic traces that potentially indicate whether a mobile device has been compromised. It's important to note, though, that MVT is geared towards professionals. It requires a solid grasp of digital forensics and familiarity with command line tools. If you're concerned about the security of your device, I'd highly recommend seeking assistance from a reputable expert instead of trying to navigate this tool on your own. Now let's break down some of the key features of MVT. One of its standout abilities is supporting scans using public indicators of compromise, also known as IOCs. These IOCs can help identify if a device might be under threat from well-known spyware campaigns. However, here's where it gets tricky. Public IOCs alone can't guarantee that a device is completely clean. You may end up with a false sense of security. This means that if you're seriously worried about being targeted, relying solely on these IOCs might not give you the complete picture. Isn't that a bit alarming? The reality is that comprehensive digital forensic support often requires non-public indicators and threat intelligence, something that organizations like Amnesty International provide through their security lab. They also collaborate with AccessNow's Digital Security Helpline, which is vital for civil society and marginalized communities who may be under greater risk of surveillance. So if someone who's not a tech whiz is listening, what does this mean for them? Essentially, it underscores the importance of understanding your security landscape and seeking help when necessary. We often think of digital security as a DIY task, but sometimes the best course of action is to lean on experts who understand the nuances of these tools. Now, if you're interested in trying out the MVT yourself, installation is straightforward, available through various sources and even via PyPI. But be sure to check out the documentation, especially regarding any dependencies or potential issues. MVT provides commands specifically for both iOS and Android, making it versatile. Before we wrap up, I just want to touch on MVT's core principle. It aims to facilitate consensual forensic analysis particularly for those who might be targets of sophisticated spyware attacks. This is particularly crucial for activists and individuals in marginalized communities, emphasizing that the toolkit should never be used for privacy violations. So to sum it all up, MVT is a powerful tool in the fight against mobile spyware, but it isn't a catch-all solution. For best results, it requires expertise and should be paired with comprehensive intelligence to ensure true security. And remember, if you ever feel uneasy about your device's safety, reaching out to professionals is always the best move. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Cyber Chronicles. If you have thoughts or questions about mobile security, don't hesitate to reach out. Until next time, stay informed and stay secure.